going to touch a little bit on fusing and what type of fuses we're going to use on the inverters and inverter chargers. So we have two different types of inverter chargers here. One is a high frequency, it's electronic based, the other one's transformer based. This one being 2000 watt, this one being 3000 watt. Both have the capability of two times surge capacity. So this 2000 watt will put out 4000 watts, the 3000 watt will put out 6000 watts. The difference being is the high frequency or the electronic based inverter charger will only surge for milliseconds, a very short period of time. The low frequency transformer based inverter charger will surge two times capacity for five seconds. That brings us to the fusing. Okay, so for the high frequency inverter charger, we're going to look at fusing. We can use what is called a quick blow or referred to as an AGM. Like I said earlier, milliseconds is what this inverter will surge to. The transformer based, we're going to use what we call is a class T fuse. And basically what it is, it is a slow blow fuse. It's going to allow at 12 volt at 6,000 watts to draw up to 600 amps for five seconds or more. Options that we have is the fuse block for the class T, the A and G fuses. We have a plastic housing called a bolt down where the fuse just fits right in, drops in, and your cables attach to it like so. So another option that we have is a MRBF, which attaches right to the stud post on the battery. And what it allows us to do is take our inverter cable directly to the fuse, attach it like so. Basically, it screws off, the lug terminal pops on, and we screw it back down. The nice thing about this, and what we want to do, is keep the fuse as close to the battery as possible. So the reason we keep the fuse as close to the battery as possible is we're not trying to protect the inverter, but we're trying to protect the cable that runs the inverter. If by chance this cable gets shorted, we're close to the battery, we're actually going to trip the fuse very quickly. So that's it for fuses for now. We're going to go over cabling, more fusing, and fuse options in future episodes. Thank <laughs> you.